Hello, in this example, I will uh, talk about uh, how to use the existing uh, sample uh, template uh, in the Siemens to use it to uh, train a model and a simulator toolpath. After that, I will uh, do what I can do is uh, I will uh, do the, the simulation that we did in the last two videos with a uh, five axis mill. We will uh, try to make up a kinematic chain with uh, using uh, both uh, rotation and uh, using a ABC, or uh, we can use a uh, IJK vector. I'll tell you how to set up this kinematic chain. How to use the setting the interpolation mode also the 3d coordinate system rotation we can do it for both the uh, and siemens and also for a uh, 43.4 panel but here we will uh, start doing a sketch So it's our work holding device. The check is monitored on the table.
So this one uh, we will um, do all the the hex on a five axis mill with a 3D coordinate system rotation. And also we will do the pocket. Uh, I will show you how to do the setup the G68.2 and uh, set up the 3D coordinate rotation. So what we, we did so far the hex on the, the pocket. Do a six inches a hex, it's a six sides or an angle of sixty. Okay, so before we got what we needed, let's say going to manufacturing. It's a simple example of how to use an existing template, existing um, simulation example uh, given by Siemens, how to set up uh, your own uh, part and see. A quick uh, check to do it. Let's um, set up the workpiece and um, start modifying the parts. Okay, specify cut 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 area flow geometry. Make sure uh, the two lapis is normal to first face. For some reason, it's uh, computer is a little slow today. We'll fix that. Okay. I'll put in the link, uh, the part to download. Should be easy for you. So what I did is I took one of the template part. Uh, you go into and see simulation samples. You see all the parts. You can uh, pull one by one and um, check it out. So an example of how simple we can make a part. Um, so just basically taking a template and uh, use the, all the operations in the template, in the existing template, to go and edit it and make it. 
Let's uh, so we'll be coming is around stock. Uh, after this one, we'll do the machine simulation. It's around stock. Uh, we are doing a um, top face. Do all the six sides. So once the pocket is done, once the verified toolpath is complete, now we can go into the simulate uh, machine. Select uh, the operations you want. So we'll do the toolpath simulate and then we'll go into the machine uh, tool simulation. Simulation because it's an example part. We have it's a FANUC example, so we have a post processor for the FANUC. So we can do a machine code simulation. So once we try this one. So just want to tell you this is like a minor uh, looks like this uh, tiny clearance problem okay so if uh, what we need is we need to flip the uh, a axis uh, table tilt it to the um, 180 from what we are having right now it's uh, easy for our operators to see what's going on so how to do that is like uh, we can uh, go into operations edit now when you go into uh, the tool axis go specify vector go into dynamic So when you go uh, the, do the 180 flip, then the tool black. So now when you do the simulate tool, uh, tool so you can, as you can see. Now you can uh, see that uh, that uh, AX is uh, tilt is totally 180 from uh, what we did before. So that's how you're able to see what's going on um, for each other operation. So you can uh, see uh, there's still a slight clearance problem. Either we need to increase the length of the tool holder or we need to uh, add some spacer between the chuck and the part. So the part is sticking out more so you don't get a slight hit. Uh, so you can you can see that if this operation, if I do the simulator simulation on this one, So you can see the part is uh, flipping 180 on the back side of the machine so it's hard to see right so now that's why we uh, go back into the toolpath and we go into the tool axis go into the dynamic vector and flip the tool on the x-axis 180 so that will put you into Flipping the table 180 from my axis to 180 from what we needed.